uh, Wheelchair Gaming wants to sim out with Japan and um, Harold, uh, uh, Norway, and then military pressure with their other guys. So, uh, it'll be very interesting. Very map dependent. A lot of these civs are very map dependent. So, it'll, it'll be interesting to see. They each have one veto. Yeah, that that's my thought. Is is Russia got banned? Russia banning Russia is a must on Seven Seas. But Canada didn't get banned. Somebody picked them. If Canada has some protection behind a couple teammates, uh, and they're able to simulate for a hundred turns, they won't be stoppable. Yeah. Yeah. No, Persia's fantastic simsiv. They they have their immortals, which can do a lot of damage, but. Uh, they can get Pingala internals going with all that uh, culture and gold in their internal trade routes. Uh, Persia, absolutely fantastic uh, civilization uh, for uh, simming. But if Persia is next to, uh, um, sorry, Suleiman, then you can imagine just how much chop licking there will be uh, from that perspective. So here's the map. Uh, seven seas. There's a fair amount of uh, water. Uh, let's check out what we've got here. So we have uh, Norway on this big chunk in the middle. And they have a lot of land to their north. Pretty good looking land as well. Islands. They've got room to their south also. So their Norway has got all kinds of space there. Let's see who else we can find. We've got uh, the Ottomans up here. Uh, nobody around them. Real? Oh, actually, and that's not true. If Macedon finds the Ottomans, it's a it's a tough choke. The one big key here will be if Suleiman can control this choke, it'll be difficult for the Ottomans to to move up. Or sorry, the Ottomans. It'll be difficult for Macedon to move up through here, and uh, and get up to that land. But he's kind of he's got a nice wonder up here, but he's kind of tight on land. Uh, he could back settle this way. He's got a couple. He's actually got all kinds of space back here uh, that he can have to himself. He'll he'll want to stay off the coast, but he'll be able to settle some cities in here and control these city states. So that's pretty good for him. Uh, Rome has settled here. Uh, they got some nice two two tiles, but nothing great. They've got lots of fish out here. Uh, nice tight choke there. I don't see any other threatening sieves in the area on the coast. Be nice when everyone settles. Where's, uh, that's Rome. Oh, here's Canada. So Ottawa down here in a poggers. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oof. Wow. Wow. They're, and they're, and the thing is, I wonder, is anybody going to be able to find them? So, interestingly though, Macedon will be able to find them fairly early on. Uh, let me, God, look at this land. Canada on seven seas. They're going to have to figure out a way to defend this. If he can figure out a way to defend that, he's fine. But... Macedon's kind of in the middle. What he really needs, he needs the Ottomans to push south to put pressure on Macedon so Macedon can't push Canada. Canada has absolute pog champ land for days. Like, cause keep in mind, you get extra production on mines, right? So this right here uh, gets an extra production right away. These will get extra production right away on those mines. Uh, diamonds right here. That'll be an amazing tile. He'll go straight mining and all three of these tiles will be two, three with gold. All three of these tiles will be two threes with gold. Keep in mind he'll grow fast because he's got a three one base. Um, he can. Oh, I like. I mean, he his he'll go. What's the name of that? Um, Canada is going to be disgusting. What's the name of the uh, pantheon that you get uh, on luxuries and bonuses? You get. Oh man, that's driving me nuts now. I can't think of the name of it. Can somebody jog my memory? Yes, religious idols. Religious idols could be uh, pretty sweet here. Look at all these diamonds and copper. More copper here. I I, I mean, for, 
For uh, KBG's sake, they, as long as they could defend this, they're going to want to not have a remap. Let's see who else we can find. Persia, looks like they've jumped across the water. Uh, they're going to have a 2-2 with culture. they got lots of nice 2-2 tiles. That's going to be a nice food base in their cap. Uh, we already saw Rome. Looks like England went to grab the 2-2 the city center. Um, they're going to wish, I don't know. I mean, I guess that they're looking for a two, because if they'd have settled here, they don't know about these tiles right now, right? So if they'd have settled here, then they would have been like 2-1 base, 1-3 tile, and then they would have the 2-2. Two, two. So they would only would have two tiles. I think he was going here to bring in more good tiles, I guess. And then he could go like, um, pretty good Harbor campus combo here with the, with that. I don't know. Yeah, the aluminum tiles, that's way down the road. But yeah. Keep in mind, we can see everything. Like these, all the resources and stuff, they can't see, right? All the strategics and that. Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who have we not seen? Uh, Japan. Where's Japan? See, once until they settle. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I wanted to, let me just really quickly. I had the music turned down for the main menu and let me just turn that on a bit i think do we get the ambiance music maybe we don't i don't know uh okay up here okay so here's japan up here um norway with a pretty good setup here Gonna be interesting. He's got a nice harbor, and maybe he'll throw his holy site out here. Uh, check Japan. Po yeah, Japan uh, turn two. I don't know where they were. I couldn't find them earlier. Mm. They got fish. They got a nice harbor. Uh, free John Civ. Um. London out here, they did settle the 3 1 base with the 2 2. I'm not sure if I. So they wanted here. They said they jumped up here so they could settle this. Uh, oh, there you go. That's why. The harbor. That's why they did it. Uh, three fish right here. Look at all the fish, by the way. Oh my god. Um, that's plus five Pog Champ Harbor right there. Big time. Uh, okay, Rome and London. Are they on the same team? going to have to take me a minute to get caught up here. Uh, yes, they are on the same team, so there won't be any tension there. Uh, Persia, of course, we've seen there. Going to be interesting to see who meets who where on this section. Canada gets that fast growth, of course, with the 3-1 base. So they'll be jumping into... Uh, Pop two already. And I would imagine they'll go right into a settler. They're going to see all kinds of land. Uh, the good news for them is that they have tons of land in this direction as well. Because this is going to be difficult to defend uh, from here. But the longer that this goes undiscovered between these two is going to be big. This game set up for KBG. I tend to agree with that. I've, I've seen things that feel good for KBG right now. Um... If Canada can can find a way to simulate down here, it doesn't feel, you know, like this feels like a really good sim. Uh, where is... Yeah, so Norway and uh, Japan, nobody's connected, right? So Norway here and Japan up here. So they're not connected with England. So England's going to be able to control all of this without any contention in the water right they're, they're they're not going to be contended in the water at all rome will be able to free settle the coast all in here they won't need to worry about the coast settles in here because uh london will control or england will control these waters uh pretty well because everything's cut off right like this is cut off uh right here you can see on the map this is all cut off and this is all cut off and then all this big water that you see here on the left and here on the right is um, 
is fantastic uh, space for, for London to control. It really does set up as a really good game for them right now. Canada can settle coast too. Uh, yes, Canada could settle coast because um, the, the the waters will be sh be controlled by uh, London. Or I keep saying London, by England. And it'll also keep him off the coast, right? Um, so he'll be able to settle this coast because he'll have Norway protecting him. But he'll it'll keep him off the coast on this side. Uh, or if he, if he, you know, he could try it, but he'll eventually get met. Hey, Van Can, how you doing, buddy? I am having a great Saturday. Uh, coming up on, so it's Pop, it's turn six. He's grown to the diamonds. He's going Builder. Okay, there you go. So he went, he did go Builder. Oh, no, he's, he can't make up his mind. He went Builder, then he went Settler. He can't decide. Maybe they're going to buy him a Builder? Possibly they buy him a builder here. Where's the gold at? Uh, Rome's given up their gold. Or they spent it. Possibly. What do we got for city-states? Let's take a quick look at city-states here. Three gold, four culture, only one science city-state, and not a single. That's huge, everybody. Anybody that was out there looking to run a faith game, not a single faith CS in the game. Four culture and three merchant but not a single faith. Yeah, 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 indeed. Like, faith CSs are incredibly, incredibly powerful in multiplayer games when you're looking for that bonus faith on your uh, on your things. Ooh! Mount Vesuvius popping off. Uh, Japan will absolutely love that settle. Assuming, yeah, I would assume Japan will get that settle because uh, Harold will want to stick to the coast. And, of course, these guys are buds. Uh, hey, Shock Man, how you doing? Thank you very much for the follow, bud. I appreciate it. Welcome in. For those of you who don't know, Shock Man is uh, one of the uh, key CPL administrators who uh, is in control of this whole CPL uh, qualifiers madness. Uh, so seven turns. What is he working right now? Oh boy. Yeah, he needs somebody. They need to buy him a tile. They need to buy him a tile desperately. He's working a 2-1 right now, at best. Unless he's trying to push culture? I don't know why he would be doing that. They need to buy him a 2-2 tile. England hogging all the money. He needs. They need to buy him a 2-2 tile. That's really slow settler. That is very key turns that they're wasting. Uh, three turns on the settler there. Three turns on the... So you can see the difference, right? These guys are going to have a settler in three turns. They're looking at it in six. Three turns. Three turns. Three turns. Everybody is looking to get their settlers out. Now they're in five. They're also no. They're working a couple of two twos. Maybe they just got to start late. Did they go scout scout? Yes, they did. They went scout scout. Whereas I think London went. Yeah, that's the difference. I think. Did he go? Yeah, he went scout scout. Six turns. That's not too bad, but they do need to get him. That that there's losing a production there. Game's going pretty good. Uh, if Canada can protect themselves from the, um, the the Macedonians, he has an absolute poggers, elite god start from heaven uh, down here in the tundra, as you would expect on Seven Seas. And he's just going to be able to just spam for days all the way along here with nobody contending all the way along here. And even to the right, uh, some pretty good land. Uh, the biggest key will be able to set up a defense. Um, it'll be depending on the timing. If, 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 uh, excuse me, it's going to be a big deal about how fast the Ottomans can get their science up and push from the north to keep them off the south, basically. Yes, Damodar, exactly. Is that Peter Pan, Ottomans? Yes, Peter Pan is going to have to. They bought, He got them a 2 2 tile. Very good. And now he's at pop three, still needs another tile, really. Um, yes, Peter Pan needs to push down here into. I'm going to try to get the names here. Not Haydn. Uh, he needs to push Not Haydn so that Tetra can get going on Canada. <clears throat> Canada has good mountains. Yes, yeah, so this way. Yeah, they're going to be able to get some pretty solid campuses up. There's a plus four. Um, there's a plus three. If he does go religious idols, he's not going to want to use up too much of the copper, but 
Yeah, not bad. They're not they're not fantastic, but having some campuses is nice. Um, but lots and lots of land like even like late game you just settle some cities down here in the snow and and just and just come in and uh throw up national parks all over this i mean like obviously you don't want it right now but you you set up cities throw up national parks eight food eight production city of you just fine all down in here all of this land if the, if the, nobody contests it be gone once they get mounties, you can't penetrate them. They're, they'll, be, they'll be toast. <clears throat> so three turns on the settler here after going scout, scout. Uh, they, I think that they felt like that they were... Um, I guess because they have uh, Bumbles up here who went one scout into their settler. They wanted two scouts to see what's going on here. Uh, and they're going to find Japan to their west before too long you can kind of see a triangle of units here these two are going to close in on here seven seas is so big that you don't see nearly as much harassment as you do on a, P a pangea you'll often see civilizations like if they can find somebody's capital they'll try and harass them pillage or slow down settles things like that but everybody's so so spread out right now that it's you, don't, you often don't see that because it's just too much room uh now there is uh, wait a minute. Yeah, Rome. So here's another. So here's some conflict here. So it's actually two v two right here. This is a two v two right here, uh, competing for this central land between Rome and Persia is going to be big. Japan will generally want to just stick to the coast, and of course that's all that uh, London's going to want to do is just come right down this coast and just own all of this. So Settler's going to pop here. We did see the Settler already pop here and move south. He wants that uh, settle right there on the on the, on the the river there. And Persia has theirs on the go. They're, they're fortunate that they went in this direction. They're, they're going naked Settler. And uh, they're going to want to figure out what's going on here. Because this is a dangerous unit if, if they go naked Settlers all day long. Uh, he's bringing his scout back to... So Tomb Raider, this is Tomb Raider here running Japan. He's bringing his scout back up to cover there. Um, anything going on tech-wise? A lot of guys going bronze working. Interesting that Canada is going bronze working. Animal husbandry. Sailing on Macedonia. Really interesting choices for technologies here. I like astrology on Japan. So Japan's going to get themselves a religion. And so it looks like uh, they're going to look for a religion on London as well. Very interesting. Oh, Ottomans. The Ottomans. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. So early gen. So the big play, um, the big trick, if you will, the one trick that the Ottomans have is rush your campuses. Uh, I'm assuming they probably already have their campus tech since they're working on irrigation. Uh, you rush, you got a plus four campus here, put another city down over here, put a plus four campus there. And that is really, really fast science. Um, what they can do is if you get them down fast, and if you get three cities with, um, with three campuses really quick, and you push, try to get Hypatia and some, and like you can like even do projects and just run the table on all of the early great scientists and then use that as another catapult get to your double adjacency card and like look at this there's actually a plus six sitting right here uh and then another plus four there like he can absolutely oh he's actually going south here he wants the uh he probably wants the two two settled with the three two and the two two one and the two two one this is a fabulous city i don't know if he has horseback riding to know he even has that and when he puts it down, he might see enough. He'll see this tile, and if he hovers over it, he'll see that it has breathtaking appeal of seven. And he'll know that it's mostly mountains. He, he could be possibly trees or whatever, but he'll know that this is a tile worth buying to throw his campus down. By the way, uh, Domino, that was the game I was playing with you, right? We played a free-for-all game, and I had not one, but two plus six completely surrounded mountain campuses in my... Uh, in my land and it was it was gross it was so nice uh so rome getting their second settle they're going to settle on the other side of this river 
So big. So much science. Uh, they've gone north. Uh, they're going to settle the horses. Let's look at a lot of horses here. Woo. Lot of horses. Anybody needs horses uh, on the... Um, keep for kbg kbg if the enemy needs horses on kbg side they're gonna have them they're going settler settler here uh they so so they went um who went scout scout yeah rome went scout scout into settler settler um they've gone into builder here uh they've gone into builder here so they're settled they're gonna settle the iron maybe it looks like he's going to come across and settle the iron, maybe. He's trying to get his fishing boats up. It's going to be really big on Pantheons. Um, who gets... It'll be a fight for uh, God of the Sea. Uh, they're going Settler, Settler here in Macedon. Uh, he's going to there. It'll be interesting to see. They went Scout. He went Builder as well. He must have got a Builder in a Hut. That, that wasn't there a second ago, was it? I think he just got a Builder in a Hut. Maybe it was down here. Pretty sure he did, though. Uh, in Canada, they've already got... Look at this city. Oh, my God. It's so dirty. It's so dirty. Oh, my God. Don't do them like that. Um, they've already got um, second city down, and they're two turns on their next settler. Oh, my God. The city. Like, I, I don't even think it's going to matter. Even if they do push them. Like, how are you going to push into this kind of production? Like, these cities are going to be just disgusting. Look at all these hills. This is nothing but hills. Nothing but hills. Copper, diamonds. It's it's insanity. Yeah, we can't see their chat screens. That that would be interesting. Yeah, it's actually, you know, it is, it is actually fun to... Um, in fact, I don't know if Tomb Raider is streaming. Tomb Raider may be streaming, so you could potentially get his side of things. If you do happen to go to his stream, you can't obviously say anything in his chat about the game. He is? Okay, there you go. Um, but you would be able to get in on their conversations if, if you wanted. You could, what you could even do is, um, you know, put his conversations on in the background so you can get an idea of what they're doing on that. So going hard, long ships here... Um, yeah, so they did, they don't have a second settler going, but they, they do have their, uh, he's, he's just bought his other fish tile. So the four, two and the three, one are online. Uh, I don't think, I don't think they have it. Nobody has a Pantheon yet. I don't think. Oh, they did get it. Earth goddess. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Uh, interesting. Earth goddess. There is a lot of trees around. There is a lot of trees around. I still don't... I still feel like I kind of like religious idols there. Yeah, I, I kind of... I kind of don't like the call. Because they're going to... They're going to be mining all this land, right? Like... There's a lot of trees, but I mean, they're going to... They're going to be mining all of this copper and diamond, the iron... Like, all of this land is going to get ugly in a hurry. Religious Idols was the call here. Like, four in the capital alone. Five in the capital. Six in the capital with Religious Idols. Religious Idols was absolutely the call. Now nah, you don't want to work. You don't harvest the copper. The copper is too nice. You work these tiles and, and harvest and work the goal. That's a big, big mistake. People get so fascinated with the with that faith. They oh look at the faith. That faith is gonna be gonzo. You're gonna to want to be chopping out all these trees on these hills. Anything with a hill, I mean it's pretty good in the capital, because these will probably keep the faith. But you can't you can't get rid of this tree and chop that. You I mean it's just I mean, all of these hills, you're gonna to want to chop, chop, mine, 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 and then this city loses it. This is this is gonna lose it. it, it this is a, a bad call. I'm gonna just straight up call it right now. It's a bad call. Religious idols was the play 100. Yeah, idols would have literally equaled more faith. It literally would have equaled more faith. Let's see if anybody else has a pantheon right now. Oh, fertility rights, free builder, pog champ. I know how much you like that, Domitar. Uh Free builder, poggers. Get your accelerated growth. Interesting combination here. We got a little bit of uh, stare down. This could be bad troubles for that scout. 
Uh, no Pantheon there. No Pantheon there. Japan, still nothing. So just two Pantheons off the board, it looks like. Unless Persia has one. Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm really disappointed in that play. He's been given a God Spawn, and then he went... Oh, man. Religious Idols. Man, I'm so sad right now. Literally just for the builder. Yeah, but the builder, it can accelerate things on online speed. That free builder can accelerate things so well. Look at that six food tile. Like, just like just filthy. Like, so much extra food. The extra food is, is really nice. I am triggered. I'm a little bit triggered, yeah. Uh, what is his thoughts on Earth Goddess? Maybe thinking late game for National Parks? Yeah, maybe. Like, you, like late game, if you're thinking late game, you're going to be throwing trees up building parks and then turn the faith into rock bands like late game it's not a bad play but it's too late compared to the faith you would have early like with all this disconnected um with all of this um faith that he would have grabbed off religious idols all game long religious idols religious idols religious idols like, he's got diamonds everywhere. Religious idols, religious idols, religious idols. Like, it would have just, all game long, just just harvesting faith like a madman. Yeah. Like, it would have legitimately, it would have legitimately sponsored a monumentality run to help him uh, spam uh, settlers. And now, now he's thinking the same thing with God, Earth Goddess, but it's six faith. And where else are you going to get more faith now? Like, I just showed it to you, right? Like, I mean, some of these tiles, but you're going to want to mine all these tiles. It's too much production to give up all game. No, nobody stole it. Nobody has... Religious Idols is a pretty rare one to go off the, off the board, right? Because... Um, you have to have the right spawn, and he has the perfect spawn for it. Fertility rates was fantastic uh, for him. I, I think I like it a lot, to be honest with you. Because he's got, think about it too, like a city up here. Look at these rice. Look at these rice up here for a city. Um, all that extra food there. There's more here. Probably didn't even know it existed because nobody takes it. Yeah, I don't know the experience level on some of these players, right? I know some of these guys are fantastic. Like, Tomb Raider's team is good. I, I just don't know. Fertility rates. It's great. It's so nice. All that extra food. Make sure you grow nice and tall. Um, and then the builder accelerating. Like, being able to get that builder out. And even if you just improve three tiles, it's three extra production that you're working. Um, unless you go with making that, um, uh, that rice farm, in, in his case. But... Yeah, like just two extra production early and it just compounds all game long, right? Free builder is not bad at all. <clears throat> if you want to play at this level, absolutely. If you want to play at this level, you should know that. And if he doesn't, if he, I mean, if he's, it's a race to Earth God, or uh, sorry, God of the Sea. It's a race to God of the Sea right now. We've got connections here. Galley coming. He's got two galleys coming out and he's going to find out that his, the galleys are going to be useless. He's going to find out that those two galleys are going to pay him no dividends whatsoever. Sorry, I'm, I shouldn't be on that screen there. Uh, yeah, they're good to go. Now, Vesuvius. What, what are wonders? Have you guys seen any of the natural wonders? I've seen Vesuvius. And I saw down here is uh, Crater Lake. Have we seen any other wonders in the game yet? Oh, there's... Um, Wait. Oh yeah, that's because it's uh, Lij or Lij or whatever. Uh, interesting. Not long, and there he is back. Welp. There you go. Okay. Some nice oil tiles when somebody gets to them. Might have just sniped it away from the other team just so the team has it. I still don't think it's a good play. Like for all you know, the other three, the other the other team has no nice land. Like Earth Goddess often doesn't get picked in a in a teamer game because in multiplayer, 
online speed teamer games production is more king than any time anything you're mining everything in sight it's unbelievably difficult unless you're bull moose teddy it is very difficult to get a lot of value out of earth goddess um it really is so here's we, there's a meet here so the scout's going to be heading in this direction to see if he can harass they're going to want to get the warrior up perfect timing they're going to want to get that warrior up to protect their land um because he he knows that he's coming and so immediately he's like okay let's get a warrior up make sure he doesn't pillage my mines right so that's a good play there at least um pantheons should be there should be more pantheons coming online it's right around that time where everyone's going to start picking them off right there's no russia in the game there's no indonesia in the game so the pantheons are just going to all kind of come along here at the same time everyone's got god king on another settler coming here that'll be their second another settler here they're going to get a third city they're settling away from macedon it's a very good call they're going to want to settle maybe this fresh water here. One, two, three. Yeah, so the best they can do is settle here, but it's going to have the deer. That's going to be a 2-3 tile right out of the gate. And, of course, a 3-1 base. So 3-1 base, 2-3, the diamond there. Uh, they've scouted all the way through here, so they're going to want to expand. They're going to know that. They've discovered Crater Lake. Turn 18, Golden Ages. A lot of them have secured. Some of them are close. Let's see what we've got for. He's getting his boats online. Everybody's hoping that they get their. Uh... Oh, relic. How can I see? Is there a way to see if they have anybody has relic? It would be in. I don't think there is. There a way from my perspective to see? Oh, faith return. I guess. Uh, yields. Oh, Canada! Oh, Canada has seven faith to turn because of the uh, Earth Goddess. So no one has a relic because if they did, then they'd be working at least four or five faith to turn. So no relic. God of the Sea is huge here. Anybody who worked a anybody work a culture tower early? I don't think so. If anybody had worked a culture tile early, that can also get you there. Oh, actually, they worked a culture tile early. So they whether or not they got to this tile fast enough to get to um, their government first to get God King in a turn or two sooner is, is the big deal there. The great work slots open when the first trailer. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the great work slot. and I didn't see it up here. And I'm like, well, maybe I can't see it in spectator mod. But yeah, there you go. The, it opens up when somebody has it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, so another settler coming there. Um, settler, I'm still looking for somebody to pop a pantheon up. It is like it's tension because because God of the Sea is huge. Like think, just imagine adding a production to all these fishing boats here for uh, for England. You know, or all these fishing boats here for Rome. Even they might consider it, although they wouldn't want to steal it from them, I suppose. But you know. Fishing boats. Fishing boats. You add a production to all those? That's poggers. Canada on their way to their set next settle. The warrior's out. He's. It looks like he's going to explore a little bit, but he's going to want to make sure he protects those mines. One hundred. Uh, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. He probably settles next turn anyway. Oh, there's... Here we go. Craftsman. Got a craftsman. Oh, wow. That is trouble. That is trouble. He's going to want to get here. Oh, cucked indeed. I didn't realize he had movement left. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't mind that play. Problem is, is that he can get hit twice this turn. Oh no, no, just the once, and then the warrior being positioned. Then, but then he can get here, right? He won't have zone of control. So, so no, he'll be fine, I think, because even if he brought the scout to here to block this settle, he could then this warrior could only block one of these. Then he moves it in, and he can settle. Yeah, so he'll be fine. 
I think he'll be fine. Hey, uh, Tugalant, how you doing? Tugalant. Ooh, you know what, Pantheon? He, he, um... Well, I guess... No, you know what? I would have liked Fire Goddess out of him. Right? I feel like I would have wanted Fire Goddess. Look at all that faith. And then this goes off? That's 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11 tiles that very much... Even on this side, he, he's seen this, I would assume. And this? Like, I, I really would have liked Fire Goddess out of him over uh, Craftsman, I gotta say. Be interesting to see the play here. Pantheon should be coming online here. Bought a builder. Uh, oh, he went to the left. See, I feel like if he stayed on the right, he had more options. I feel like that was a mistake. I feel like he should have stayed here and he had options to go to three tiles. Going back this way, I, I don't know where he's going because he can't get to here. He, he needed to stay there and have three tiles that couldn't, so he couldn't block them all. That was a mistake, I think. Uh, some interesting conversations going on over here. Uh, Pantheons. Still waiting on Pantheons. Oh, there it is. Norway has won the race. And just like that. They actually don't have... Ad they, I mean, not bad. They get down here. Uh, they're going to want to get a settler out. They're going for... They're putting... They've got their uh, holy site up. In here and here. So they're going to want to get their religion up. But interesting that... Um, like a fair amount of fishing boats here. But that's a huge... No, I agree, Damodar. Yeah, the, the turn timer this early. There's not a lot of time this early in the game. And it's not hard to make a mistake. Um, oh, the Slingers hit him a couple times. So, they, so they're buying it sometime. I think he's got to move that Settler back. Hopefully he keeps that in mind. Maybe one of his teammates have told him. Get to the right. You've got three tile settles. Potential. They swapped this out. So now the Warrior's covering this side now. And he's got him away from the Slinger. Iron Online. That's good news for Persia. Holy Sites getting built. Nobody's got points yet. Unmet city-state has died. Who killed a city-state? I'm thinking that's boats that would have done that. Warco, yes. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I love it. I truly love it. I don't I don't see anybody with an echo. Oh, there it is right there. Yep. Kagawana. Sounds good, Warco. Sounds good. We have, we have only been up, what, maybe... Game's been going about half hour, maybe forty minutes. Yeah, so there you go. That's um, get a couple long boats up. Take yourself a city state. Uh, start accelerating. He'll have a fishing boat here. Only the one fishing boat in the first ring, but or in the first two rings, but not too shabby. And really, his only option. There's no other fishing or no other um, city states that he really had an option to take. So um, up here, I was just gonna say. Tomb Raider built a, built some galleys, and the only way he's going to get dividends off of that is um, taking Cardiff, and that's not a particularly strong civ or city to be taking. So he'll he'll stop building galleys for the rest of the game. <laughs> is Norway connected to the Ottomans? Uh, yes, he's actually about to go see him, but it's uh, as long as he stays off the off the coast he'll be fine he's okay in this on this interior side here uh he'll probably maybe try to get it he's gone up this way to get the the volcano tiles which is he's going to settle that uh plains hill and uh absolutely love his life right here that three two three right out of the gate it does limit the ottoman space but the ottomans are doing pretty good for space um, I, he's, he's scouted down here. He has all of this for free right here. He has all of this for free and, uh, London, uh, England is going to control these waters all down here, all up through here and all over here. 
So he all he has all of this for for free. Yeah. Yeah, God yeah, exactly. So he's got there you go. He's got that six campus up and running, we called it. He was gonna once he settled here, he would have been able to see this tile, hover over top of it, see seven breathtaking, know that it's gonna have a ton of mountains, then find out it was six. That's a camp issue one up instantly. But yeah, God tier and God tier right there. Uh, capital wasn't the greatest, to be honest. The capital was not the greatest at all, but he has been rewarded with a couple God tiers. He's got his warriors cutting off this pass. We talked about that early. Controlling this pass is going to be huge. Um, and then getting pressure up with uh, with those campuses to, to keep pressure down here because this is going to be trouble. Uh, this scout's going to come in and try and pillage this. He needs to get up there and protect that. He's got his builder working these coppers. So again, just could you imagine these with religious idols? Like, look at this. He he mined his iron. Boom. There goes your faith. Gone. Earth goddess. Massive mistake. So dis. It's so disappointing. He like at this level. If you if you spawn with five. Luxury or and or resource mines within two tiles of your capital, boom, religious idols. It should just be easy peasy. And he's going to be disappointed in himself when he realizes that uh, what that was done. Uh, well, Macedon, the yeah, but the thing is, is that um, he'll be able to come over, right? Eng England will be able to come over and control this for. For these guys. Yeah. This is all... That's what I was saying. Because because you were mentioning how the game really is setting up well for KBG. And not just because of the Canada spawn. And the Ottomans having all this land. But because Norway got stuck on... Like, they'll be able to put lots of cities down in here. But they're, they're not going to control anything with their with their boats or they're going to control another civilization. And then Japan is even worse. They're going to control even less. And you know, what's funny is nobody even mentioned respawn at turn eight. Did I miss that? Like nobody even brought or uh, remap. Nobody even brought up remap at turn eight. I didn't see. Maybe they all forgot about it. They must've all just, just went past their brains and they just, uh, yes, it is static. It's the 3.16.2 static version, yeah. I know, the, and Demeter, that's the thing, is why, like, maybe they weren't thinking about it? I don't know. Because um, these guys would have picked the map. These guys picked the map, uh, uh, KBG. Because the host is Wheelchair Gaming. And so they picked the map, picked Inland Sea, and these guys still went two naval seas on a, on um, seven, seven seas. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind one. Like, Japan Japan is a great civ no matter what. Like, they can do lots of great things. Don't get me wrong. By the way, Tomb Raider, get up another settler, bud. Come on. Two cities, Pog Champ. Let's go. I'm going to put a city out here. Um... Another another settler here. Another settler. They still still haven't figured out a way to get this settler down. He messed this up. He he. If he'd have kept his settler here like three or four turns ago, there was three tiles he could have settled on, and they could only cover two of them. And he moved the settler to the left. Uh, which one's Yoda? Persia. Yeah, he still. Yeah, he still hasn't. He still hasn't figured this out. Just stand there on the tree and walk and go to either one of these three tiles. It's not hard. Look at these campuses and stuff. Like, there's a lot of really nice land to fight over here. Canada, like I said, the 3-1, the 2-3. Get the iron up. But again, where's your Earth Goddess? Right? They're getting campuses down. They're going to try and compete for science uh, with the Ottoman... Oh, no, wait. No, they're... Okay, so they're going to want to be careful they don't steal some of the key science civs... Or science... Um great scientists from the Ottomans because that's a that's a big part of their play earth goddess oh my god I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna try to stop talking about it but it was such a mistake uh iron online here for 
the uh, to upgrade to swords. They're going to have Niter in the third ring there for that for their Janissaries. Working the two like this is God God tier right here. They still have a horse controlling this, which is good. I don't see any push coming online. Uh, getting up their uh, the Balakoy Pedis, so they're going to be getting a general going. Uh, going to get a builder in here. Uh, settler for Rome. Settler for Rome. Bristol's gone inland. Interesting. I I don't I don't understand that play. Why are they taking land from Rome when they've got this? Like, look at this. Like, just settle all of this. Get your harbors up. You have a half price harbor. I mean, he can put his harbor here, but with, what is this city? Why are you taking that city from Rome? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it is slow to get to here, but I still don't like it. I still don't like it. The horses? Yeah, but I mean, the horse doesn't really matter. It's a team game. Rome comes and settles this. They get the horses. If they need horses, they can take them. It's... I don't know. I mean, you're right. You want a third city up quick, and this would have been a bit of a trek, but this is the settle. Look at this. I mean, yeah, so it takes what? One, two, three, four, five, six turns to get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So it's one extra turn to settle this, and your reward is a three, two banana, a one, three, and a couple, two, twos, and. Uh, a nice little farming triangle layer here if you ever wanted it. Not to mention a nice harbor and a nice plus four campus. Th this was the settle. One extra turn to get to here versus here. Yeah, he's got his. Uh, he's got a uh, galley right here. Let's go see the saga of the settler. Okay, so he got it. Looks like uh, he got enough damage off. He brought in a warrior, got enough damage off. And he went and settled the the marble, which you would want to be doing, and grabbed the 2-3. But that was, what, five, six turns he lost on his third city? Got another settler coming there. He's running a an encampment project, so he's trying to get a general up. Uh, religion, profit points. Two a turn, one a turn. Forward settle operating base right there. I'd like to see another settler come out of Istanbul. Um, they're trying to get a general up. I wouldn't mind getting a city here for them to control. Maybe right there. Got some pretty good tiles in the area. I don't mind the idea of a city right here. Control that pass. Might be hard to hold. Maybe a little ballsy. What's Canada doing? They've got a fourth city up. Yeah, they went Montreal in this direction. More Earth Goddess, but this is an unworkable tile. And once this gets mined, um, how is that? One, two, three, four, five, and then the marsh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Oh, man. Religious idols. What else we got? Rome. Another settler coming. That'll be four cities. Still more, still no settler for a fourth city. This is a really good city. You don't want to delay that. Persia Lucky has a god spawn. Yeah. Very nice, uh, very nice land right in here. Lot, working a lot of nice tiles. Uh, and oh my god. What did he take? Yeah, he took God of Craftsman. Earth Goddess was the call here. He'd be working 12 faith a turn right now. And he'd just be waiting for this volcano and this volcano to go off. And Earth Goddess would be just... I mean, he'd be all over a monumentality. Shrines coming online. Who else is making a religion play? Japan, right? Yeah, Japan's making a religion play with the half price. Holy site. Shrine coming online. Trader. Another holy site coming online here. Look at that. He's only All he's working in this city is a 3-1 tile. And it's still only six turns to build that half price holy site. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, when do they decide if it's reroll? So at turn eight, each team has the opportunity. You can actually put up a vote to determine. Oh, come and settle this, please. 
Tomb Raider. Come settle this. Um, they'll put up a vote at turn eight, and each team has the right to vote for a remap. If both vote for a remap, then nothing happens. If one of them votes for a remap, then they essentially use up a remap token, uh, and they're only allowed one per. At turn eight, nobody even brought up the idea of a remap, so. Which Japan? Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, Dance of the Aurora. For that holy site right there. Well, and also, right there, the, I was just going to say, this is the only city state they can take. So Dance of the Aurora, and then they they have a, they actually have some pretty nice cities up in here, to be honest. They actually have some pretty nice cities up in here. So it's actually going to be uh, pretty nice. Like this is literally just one hill. So this is a plus four. Uh, lots of flat land out here. So another Dance of the Aurora in here. Like he's going to be able to half price those things and be working a ton of faith. Convert that into monumentality. Um, and then just settle the crap out of this land. He's got Rome in his face here. So he's going to have trouble holding this. But he's got this over here. He could probably take all of this land because Norway is going to want to stick to this anyway. And this, they could potentially grab some of this up in here because they're going to control all this. One remap per game. Yeah, per game. Yeah. So the, this is the um, uh, CPL qualifiers and it's, it's like it's like a tournament. So you play a guy and then you play the next guy. I believe it's per game. So you don't lose. You'll still have one. Uh, another settler coming here. Builders trying to get some land work in. Uh, Canada, they got another settler coming? Yes, they have three more settlers coming. They are looking to expand really fast in Canada. They got that settler card on, and they are just poof, go. Um, the only thing is, is they're going to have to make sure, uh, is just going to say, when uh, Heteroi is coming, these Heteroi's, I don't know if they're going to be trying to challenge this or hold this and challenge this. If I were them... I would be pressuring this because if you let them throw these settlers down for free for the next 15 turns, good luck stopping that level of production. Well, that's a possibility. Like Norway does have a ton of space, so they could free sim, uh, monumentality free sim with their religion. It's a possibility. Absolutely, it's a possibility. Um, but honestly, I think that the uh, culture victory, if Canada is left to free sim with, with all this land, I think the culture victory could, I mean, assuming, I don't know the talent of the players. Like when I'm doing CWC, I know that every player is incredibly, unbelievably talented, right? They wouldn't be at that level playing in the playoffs of the CWC if they weren't unbelievably talented. I don't know the skill level of all of these players. I know Tomb Raider is a very good player. Uh, I know that I'm sure most of the people on his team are probably quite good or else he wouldn't be on a team with them. The other team, I've been told by Damodar that the other team is uh, has got some good players, but whether or not they're going to have an elite Canada free sim skill level going, I don't know. Hale is really good at simming. So he sent his heteroi north, so big pressure coming here. Swords coming online to defend that. Um, so it's interesting because uh, it's found a new city named Cardiff. <laughs> found it all right. They found it. Right in the teeth. Um, they could even destroy... If they didn't want Kamasi in the game, they could just... Although... Yeah, because England's here. I was going to say, they, they could destroy this and just settle another city uh, in the area. One, two, three... Yeah, they could settle a city here anyway. Um... But the, the interesting thing I was going to say with Macedon here is they're kind of stuck between two teams. And it's like, okay, if we push Canada early, then we let these guys free sim to um, Janissaries and then the Janissaries destroy us. So he kind of needs to hit these guys first and slow them down. The problem is that he may not know is that he's got God tier cities everywhere. And uh, I mean, look at that tile right there. Casual 10 yields. Um, and then look at this free, or sorry, um, the uh, fertility rates coming in hot with that rice. Grow, grow, grow. He's almost pop four there. So these god tier civs or cities will help him hold this pass. Hopefully for him, 
until Janissaries. Yeah, that's the problem. That, that is, it's too hard to control this choke. Like, I mean, sitting on standing on the flat land here isn't great, but this is just temporary, right? He sticks, he sticks some swordsmen right here, and maybe an archer or two uh, on these hills. Like, it's it's going to be hard to push through that, and then and then funnel in more swordsmen this way. Like, it's going to be hard to uh, to push through that choke. So it's it's tough. The these guys are in a tough spot because they need to they need to not let him get to Janissaries, and they also need to not let Canada free sim their their balls off. And then here comes a thirteen turn builder. Uh, settlers are popping. Um, by the way, um, uh, I just realized it's turn thirty four. I'm sitting here commentating, and nobody asked. You guys have got to keep me on the, on the ball. Uh, so let's go through. Um, everybody got their golden age? Nope. Normal age Rome. Ooh, and normal age Japan. Sup? Oh, man. Tomb Raider, normal age gamer. Tomb, normal age Keck, yeah. I know. He built that Rolly site and didn't even get a golden age out of it. Uh, and then Rome as well. Normal age gamer Rome. Uh, trying to get a settle over this way, but he's it's gonna this is an interesting philosophy here. Forward settling Persia. Uh, another settler coming out there, settler here, and another settler coming there. So they're getting wider. Let's check out um which pantheon or which uh ages are in. So uh Penbrush for Persia. How many districts do they got down right now? Uh they got that down. So they're going to want to get districts up to get the most out of their pen brush. Plus five campus, by the way. Um, they're going to want to get more districts down to get their pen brush rolling. Uh, let's see. Pen brush from Macedon. Again, they probably just have the encampment. Oh, and they got another... Um, they got the government plaza coming down over here, but... Uh, let's see. Not a, not a surprise, obviously, Harold with the monumentality. So you'll see builders and settlers popping out. Uh, he's actually building a settler in here, which is interesting. He might actually pop across and put a city because there's a really nice city over here. Would not be surprised to see uh, him put a city there. He's going to want a city right there as well. And then he can go to the north. So he's going to want to be there. He just popped a settler right out of there. Right, think that. He'll be able to get his builders online. Tomb Raider, Normal Age Gamer, Rome, Normal Age, uh, Poseidon, uh, Canada, Pembrush. Uh, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Pembrush. Uh, so they have campus, and this is actually under construction yet, so it hasn't even been built yet. The cities. So here we go. Here, this is also the thing. He's 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 got pop four and hasn't even placed a district yet. Pop four and hasn't even placed a district yet. Even here, he's gonna go to pop four. He's got to place his commercial hub down or something or government plaza. Pick where his government plaza goes. Get a builder up. Chop it out. Whatever you got to do. Again, where's your commercial hub going? Put it down. Settler going there. Uh, what's he gonna do? Is he settling over here, maybe? There'll be some nice Earth Goddess going on here, I suppose. Uh, where else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, free inquiry. Oh, I did it again. Don't freeze up. Thank you. Uh, free inquiry up here is obviously the call. Uh, instantly five gold, five science. He probably isn't too far, I would imagine, on... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, he's just getting currency. He needs to get to naval tradition, I believe, right? For the double adjacency to harbors. And that, is, and that becomes 10 science and 10 gold. And then this here is a 3-3. Three, three. So that would be 6 and 10. That would be 16 science on those two harbors alone. This is another 2 over here. Um, so, yeah. Hey, not Meg. Why do you need to place a district at pot 4? Yeah. Yeah, the cost. So the, the basically the cost of districts, Ottomans is in Penbrush as well. By the way, 
Uh, the cost of districts um, goes up with the tech tree. So for every tech that you've uh, done, whichever tree, there's two trees, whatever tree you're the furthest in as far as most techs researched, every time you finish another tech in that tree, the cost goes up. And so the sooner you, as soon as you place it, the cost is locked in at that point. Even if you don't build it for another 100 turns, the cost is locked in at that price. So let's say you've got, you know, 15 techs done in science and 12 done in culture. Every time you do a new science tech, the cost goes up, the cost goes up, the cost goes up. And just means you're going to take you longer to build them. Persia's five wide, another settler coming online here. Uh, wow. Wow. Interesting. Turn 36. Uh, Legions versus Immortals should be coming online soon. Uh, what do we got for iron? Do these guys have any iron? I don't see any. Oh, yeah, they have one here. What does Rome have for iron? They got one there. Rome still doesn't have a pantheon. Like, have you ever heard of God King, son? God of War and Plunder is also very nice. Uh, so, nice backup. Having lost um, God of the Sea, God of War and Plunder is always your second option as a naval civ. Uh, they'll really like their uh, control of admirals and stuff like that. So they're going to settle right here, right in their face, I guess. Three archers to protect it. I don't, I don't know why they stepped up onto there. They could, they obviously couldn't settle that. Why they wouldn't have just settled last turn, if that's what their plan is. Just going to settle right in their face. Like, Rome basically is calling Persia a bitch right now. They're just like, what do you got? I'm going to settle right here. What are you going to do about it? Uh, by the way, one, two, three, four, five, six. Swords in the pass. I feel like, I don't know. I guess maybe they're going to try. They don't want to try and hold this because then they're hitting before. But I don't really know if I like standing on the flat land versus here. I don't think I like that. He's going to he's gonna next move him right there. With, oh, he's only got the one in the position. Hmm. I feel like I'd rather hold this. Because if you're holding this, then they can put two guys here and sub from four spots. But if you're holding this, they have two guys here and they can only sub from two spots. I think this is the place to hold right here, right? Canada spreading out with their settlers. Maybe they plan to put archers on the hills. Uh, well, this is, this is only one hill. There's two hills here and the encampment. So this is, you can put archers here. So, okay, they've backed up there now. There you go. So swordsmen here, archers here, and then you could sub your sub your other guys in this way, right? To, to like, have stronger guys there. Like, this was not, you do not want to stand there. Put a city there. It, I, I was thinking it wouldn't be a bad idea, but they needed to do it much earlier. They needed to get it up and put an encampment in to hold this. If they wanted to do that earlier, they could have thought about it. But this is this two tile choke is going to be really tough to push. I think that's still to play. I think they're perfectly fine. I don't know what they're doing with a settler. Are they gonna Are they gonna put a city there or what? Um, Tomb Raider getting a couple settlers up in here. Dance of the Aurora. That's gonna be a plus six. I think that's all flat land, right? That's gonna be a plus six. Plus seven. Oh, because of... Wait, why is it plus seven? Oh, because of Japan. Japan gets plus one for adjacent. Duh. Japan bonus, yeah. It, it took me a second to remember he was playing Japan because Dance of the Aurora in Japan don't always... You're not always thinking Dance of the Aurora in Japan in the same sentence, right? I'm like, hmm? What's going on here? Settle that... Uh, probably settle that hill right there. Throw a campus in here. 
and another campus. This city will actually put their campus here, maybe. Oh, no, they'll put the campus there, and then these guys will campus there. Another campus here from the city down there. <clears throat> Persia's five wide. I do not know what they're doing with the settler. Like, did this city get... Oh, maybe this city got planted in their face or first. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think that's what happened. I think this settler was walking up here to plant on this river because that would have been an incredibly defensive city right there. And this settled one turn before him. I think that's what happened. I had missed that, actually. Uh, Temple of Artemis was is uh, actually a bit of a weak play. I mean, it's going to help you grow tall. But, I mean, you've got the one camp. I mean, you've got nothing but mines and stuff. Right? I don't really know. I don't know, what the, I don't know if I like that call either. Temple of Artemis. Settler coming down here. All this land. He's going to want to start to settle out of this. Districts are going up. These are going to be pen, brush, and voice, I believe, for him, right? Yeah, so he's going to have extra culture and gold coming from these. Let's check out our yields, by the way. A uh, lot of culture coming out of Rome or out of uh, Persia right now. That district's not... Oh, it is built. So one, two. How's he getting all that culture? Where is he? Uh, 27. He must have a ha. Yeah, there it is. Moksha. He went Moksha place. That's a seven extra culture right there. Um, to mix with pen brush. Like that. Uh, 25 gold is good. I would have preferred to see this campus up a little bit sooner, to be honest with you. In the capital. Still no government plaza planned. He's going to need to get to pop seven. He's going to need to work. Uh, he's trying to get the campus out, but he's going to need to switch over to food. Uh, probably hurting on housing. But he's going to need to get to pop seven, get his government plaza in there. Uh, who have we not plucked in on recently? Uh, campus. Sheffield. Okay, there he finally went down and settled that city. Turn 40. That city right here should have been there 10 turns ago. IMO. He's got another settle right here uh, on the 2 2. Stone. Work the 3 2. Decent, can or decent harbor and uh, campus commercial hub. Or no, you guys get a harbor. You don't need a commercial hub. I don't know. I have to figure that out. You can't settle that stone, unfortunately. Uh, what else we got? I guess they've turned that settler right around. They're heading, yeah, like they've been forward settled here. They don't have a lot. Like Rome, this is worst case scenario for Rome, okay? Because Rome needs to build cities and because cities equal uh, culture, right? You get two free culture as soon as you plant the city down. They lost a city here because they got forward settled by London or by England. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying London. Um... So they lost this city. They can get a city here, but that's it. They could put a city down here, but that's like... They have five cities in Rome? Like, Japan and Persia are going to pressure all this, so maybe you could come settle there? England is on the same team as England. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't like that play. This is, So here, here's the battle. You're going to want more swordsmen than three. He's got, he's trying to get a general out, I guess. Yeah, he still doesn't have a general. Oh, they actually denied him. Three generals are gone. So they actually denied a general. And he doesn't, like, he should not, like, what is, he's trying to get one here. But, like, settler builder? No, thank you. Those need to be warriors or set or iron. Like this is yeah, this is trouble. He does not have nearly enough units here. It would have. He should they like like he should not be building this barracks. I don't mind the encampment project, but he needs to be chopping that out. He need he needed to have a a builder right here chopping that out this turn. Next turn he finishes that. But this he sh this should one hundred percent. This should not be a barracks. This 100% should be um, a swordsman right here. 
chop that out into another sword. Okay, so they just bought him a swordsman. They just bought him a swordsman, so that's going to help him a little bit. But he's he's in some trouble. He's going to have to sort it out because uh, if he doesn't get sorted out soon, you can kiss your um, Janissary push goodbye. Immortals uh, coming online. Pre-build. General. Archers will be absolutely destroyed. Legion coming online. Rome again looking like six cities versus like Rome three city Rome oh, doesn't look good it doesn't look good for uh, KBG three city Rome and uh, the push here on the Ottomans is going to negate see there you go so he got his did he get the general or is he close No, he's still a long ways off of a general because the first three were stolen. He's got another one going, but he he yeah he needs to be chopping his um, swordsman. Looks like they bought him another one here. Like Canada's down here free simming like a boss, but if he has two of his teammates eraled, like if he doesn't hold up here, then you, these guys are just gonna he's gonna crush him. And then turn around and crush him. And it's there's nothing you can do about it. Like, I hate... I, don't, I shouldn't say I hate it. I don't like the Temple of Artemis play here. I don't like it at all. He should have gone Religious Idols, and he should not be building Temple of Artemis. 100%. You don't need it. It's not going to help you enough. I want to cry every time I see Three City Rome. I really do. How's, how's Tomb Raider doing up here? Got his so he's gonna head out here. He's gonna settle Vesuvius. He's gonna you're gonna get up to five cities. He needs to get moving. I don't see any more settlers coming online for England. They need to get wider sooner. Uh, settler popped out of here. Settler coming here. They're going to settle over here. Uh, what are they gonna do? Settle this island. I thought that they were going to settle across here, but they didn't. They didn't. I guess they didn't want to take this away from them, but they're not really worried about settling too many more cities. What's going on up here? So yeah, they. So this is not good. This is not good. This general, he is in trouble. This this sword's gonna gonna come out here, but let me just see something here real quick. Ottomans. See, the, the problem with him right now is he needs to get walls up, but he needs units as well. And then he's the problem is as well is he needs doing encampment projects. What he should have been doing is instead of building the settler, he should have had a builder up here chopping out the encampment projects here and then getting a and having swordsmen popping out of here or even warriors he could upgrade. That that should have been the play. He shouldn't like he should be this settler was not needed right now. He wants to go settle this wonder, but it's not. Yeah. By the way, farm? Really? You got a 5 food tile here and a 4-3 here. Why is this not mined? Or did it not get... It's volcanic soil. Why is this not a mine? Why is that not a 3-3 three, three tile right now? Getting catapults up. He is going to try to get another... He's getting a couple more cities out. So he likes his position here. He's getting a couple more cities up. Promotion here, sword popping here. Probably step here to defend. He must have learned to build the farms from you. <laughs> Make him so sad. Yeah, it does not look good right now. And the thing is, is he's going to be eating up great general points by killing all these units with these uh, heteroids. Ottomans, he needs to buy it. They give him the gold and buy it, or Rome's going to steal it. Or is he going to is he going to have that chop next turn? No, he already finished it. He needs to buy that general, and he needs it now.
Although Rome needs it as well. They both need one. Because <laughs> Rome is six feet three over here. And they still don't have... Where are their settlers going? Didn't they have two settlers? There's, there's this one here. Oh my god. The Immortal Push. Is he trying to move? Oh, he's escorting that settler. Sorry. That general would help to crossbows. Oh! It's a medieval renaissance. That don't... Oh yeah, because the sword's classic. You're right. The sword's... Cl I was... Yeah, you're right. That, it wouldn't matter. that general doesn't matter anyway. So that even further exacerbates the reason as to why he was chopping out. I forgot because there was three denied. I said that earlier and then I forgot. There was... There was three of them taken. <sighs> These, yeah, like the settler was a mistake. Chopping out two projects was a mistake. Even if he gets to crossbows and gets the general, he doesn't have any archer pre-builds. Like this is over. He moved the sword out to buy another one. He is being supplied heavily in an attempt to... He needs these walls up so bad. He needs to sacrifice into this guy to injure him. He should... He probably gets the walls up, I think. Uh, as long as he gets a couple hits here, he gets the walls up. Oh, here comes another one. He's going to flop here and then hit the city. Oops, sorry, I was trying to get clicked off of these units. Another sword coming. If he can get the walls up, it saves him until the catapult gets there. But he's going to need to bring more than one catapult. But if you can get two catapults here, yeah, see, that's what he needed to do. He needed to injure this guy so that when he hits in, he's going to hit injured. This guy will be able to come in and do a full strength hit, but this is going to heal. Wait, do these guys, these guys have movements left? Is he going to last turn this? Hit this and then swap it out. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And then it's going to swap out. Now this guy hits again, he probably dies. He may not be able to take it this turn. And though this this guy could swap in and hit. Yeah, he's going to hit with both of these guys and it's over. Yeah, he's not going to get the walls up, I don't think. Yeah, he needed to hold that choke and he was projecting generals. It's ball game. Uh, now, we, now he has a two-tile choke here he can hold. He needs to step backwards, put his swords here and hold this now. And then he needs walls up. It's going to be hard to hold this city. But that six science right there, he just lost. Like, come on. He just went to 20. Is this updated or no, do you think? I don't. This might not be updated to the next turn. But 20 science and they just added six more. It's like, hey, you want a 30% boast to your science? Okay, take this city. Commercial hubs coming online. Finally, wonder spamming. Wonder spamming in the south while you're uh, like, at this point, he almost needs to stop this and put together a military and try to pressure this maybe. Like, make him turn some of this around. Make him defend the south. I know it sounds crazy, but if he's not defending us, if, he's, if this is zero worries, then this is happy days. Oh, here comes the pillaging. Oof. Yeah, they did bring a settler up here. Forward operating base. Yeah, he needs to step back. Uh, I would say move these two guys back. Keep this guy in the middle. He can't save them all.
yeah sacrifice that guy and move these two back fortify get some upgrades get your walls up after that sword again government plaza he's been building this builder since the city went down I mean government plaza like you're about to lose your capital and let's build a government plaza I don't know still three city Rome feels bad man uh, three legions are up this is a weird stalemate legion versus immortal turn 47 nothing's happening Plus four holy site there. Haven't even looked at the religions yet. Dance of Aurora Japan? Question mark. <laughs> he was thinking the same thing as me. Um, but uh, yeah, Norway, choral music. Uh, shrines and temples provide culture equal to their intrinsic faith output. Very nice. And then Tith, so some money online. And then Feels Erel Man. Feed the world and defender of the faith for uh, for Japan. Interesting. Uh, it's uh, seven seas. Oh, is that what it is, Damodar? Yeah, the other yeah. I, I was wondering, like, I mean, I just see so many mistakes happening, and you mentioned that there was some good players, but uh, yeah, they're fill-ins for Headshots and JJ, so all four of the good players in the game are all on the same team. So he stepped back here. He did lose the one, which we knew was coming. He swapped in some strong swords, but he does need to get fortified. Catapults is an interesting call here. All oh, the catapults to uh, fend off the boats, I guess. But you better be confident you can get those walls up quick. Warlord's Throne. He understands that that doesn't work when people take his cities, right? <laughs> like, seriously... Why this? This has got to be an archer pre-build for crossbows, and he's got to be beelining crossbows. There's no other. There's. I don't understand. Like seven turning warlord's throne when you're four turns from losing your cap. Maybe not the best idea. Uh, yields gold. I mean. Shouldn't have gold problems when you've got Victoria on your team. Although Victoria should be a lot wider than four at turn 48. Four cities. Fifth one, they're going to forward. Like, this is... Why? Why is this settler... Like, this this whole coast... Like, what? All of this is yours. Just go take it. It's yours for the taking. Just go take it. Why are you forward settling into the land? You got a half price harbor. Go, go, go. Like. That general, not having a general, getting denied that early general was big too. Oh, man. Like, so here, like, here you go. So this medieval renaissance general is his in six turns. Okay. 
when are you going to have a unit that that you that that general will even finish? Like this has got to be walls. This hundred percent has to be walls right now. You should be two turning the walls. Like the government plaza, like this is just, this just feels so bad, man. Like, and just, oh man, religious idols, not taking religious idols in the capital for Earth Goddess. I mean, the monumentality run that you could have had. Built, like, Been lurking lately, great content recently. Backstabiverse, thank you very much with the tier one, two months. Appreciate it, bud. That's very kind of you. Like crossbows, like the, the catapults are coming, but at least make them use it, right? Like if... I could have swapped this guy in. Standing on the marsh is terrible. Getting a general that's not going to even help him. Ah! Ottomans want to make sure they have good cities for the team, for their team to take. That's essentially what's happened here. Oh my god. It's so over. He forward settled so that he could get a couple berserkers and a battering ram. Doesn't even need the battering ram. Now he's switched to a swordsman. <laughs> Remap. Oh, jeez. Like, four city Rome on turn 50. A turn 50 as Rome on standard speed, I'd have seven or eight cities. <sighs> How's Canada doing? I mean, other than the mistakes they've made, they're... I mean, galley? What? Eight turn builder? Like it, Earth Goddess was such a huge mistake. Holy sight! Vote for ear score, maybe. I mean, he's got nine turns and only needs seven more. Catapult. He's building a catapult because he thinks he's going to build walls and he's still not even building walls. Tomb Raider looking for his Golden Age. Everybody else looks really solid for Golden Ages there. Ottomans and England not looking good at all for Golden Age. Try not to be too negative. I'm just gonna. 
Could I make a city spam tutorial? How about this? How about I made one three months ago and it barely gets any views and I don't understand why. It's on my YouTube video or YouTube uh, channel. It's called uh, Guide to Expansion, I believe it's called. Guide to Expansion. Isengard Tom, good to see you, buddy. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it's 7C's randomly generated map. So basically, there's two teams. One team gets to host and choose orders. The other team gets to choose the map. The away team gets to choose the map. And... <laughs> they're trying to take the city before it's so funny because like they're trying to fight over who's going to get the city now it's, it's hilarious um catapult cgs he still have his warlord's throne he's going to have his warlord's throne guys two turns baby let's go um yeah, and so the other team chooses the map. But this is, I mean, to be fair, this is just a completely outmatched situation here. Uh, we're talking about a lot of high-end players right here. Um, Hale and Yoda, who are subbing in, are extremely good players. Well, not extremely good. They're very good players. And then Haydn and Tomb Raider are very, very high-end players. And these guys, I'm pretty sure, are just like... Uh, um, just a team i think just they just buddies who play they saw that they were putting together a qualifying thing they decided they put a team together and uh yeah it's not really persia seven city persia against three or four city rome like they just don't understand the the uh, concept behind getting wide other than canada canada got wide but other than that. Looks distinctly like... Uh, this map looks distinctly like Australia. Uh, every map looks like Australia, though. So that's not a surprise. I've never seen this UI either. But I haven't played multi in over here. So this, is a, this UI that you're seeing here is specific. Very specifically... Um, deleted uh, for a mod called spectator mode I'm under uh, so I'm the spectator of uh, of the game and so I can see obviously everything that's going on on the map and I can see um, sorry I just want to watch this And I can see like all of the scores, the yields, which technology they're working on, uh, era score, stuff like that. Where is everybody, by the way? Military, yeah. Apprenticeship just now. Like, yeah, they just. Just, they just got outclassed by guys who just play this game every day at a very high level. G'day, Moondoggy. It's good to see you. So yeah, I can I can just see all the things happening. Obviously, I can see like I can actually click individually on any civilization and see what they're doing. So I can click on the civilization. I can see their perspective, what they see. I can go into their tech tree like this and see which text they have uh, like this. So they've gone and found Niter. Uh, they, of course, were looking to make a Janissary push, but, I mean, it's just not going to make any difference. It's just too late. They have a Gogi in. See, they needed Limes in. See, they can't even decide what they want to make. They had Catapult in. Now they've gone back to Swordsman. They needed Limes in. They need to throw up a wall. And now it's just, it's just 
yeah. Anyway, how's uh, how's that working out? Any crashes today? Not a single, not a single crash. Game booted up immediately. No remaps. No nothing. Uh, they did have to um, re lobby once at the beginning because Tomb Raider, the host, didn't have. And there goes this symbol. Tomb Raider didn't have uh, one of the mods activated, but it, but then he got it up. He got it turned on and immediately was rocking the world. Knockwood, yeah. As soon as you brought it up, I'm like, oh god. Uh, back to that reverse. Do the players get to choose their civs, or is it random? Um, but I guess Empire Expansion has a little change since we haven't Secret Societies. In. Well, Secret Societies isn't part of the regular game, right? I don't. I won't produce tutorials on Secret Societies because Secret Societies completely changes the game. It's just a, it's a fun game mode if you want to play it. If you want to play all your games on Secret Societies, that's fine. But there's no tutorial level stuff that is going to get done for that because it's a completely separate game mode most people are not going to play that mode in all their games they're going to play the regular version of the game um i know some people love secret societies and they don't care they're just going to play with it all the time but it, they just they don't equate uh and i'm and i'm not going to make content on that level um so yes they do get to change so if you go back and watch the the vod backstabverse if you're interested in that um once the game got going, you'll see there's actually a process where uh, GGs they're calling it. Yeah. They don't want it. They're just they're just getting smashed. GGs. 